Hello there. I hope you're having a good day. I'm popping on here today to share a cup to sh share some Marie Antoinette. I have uh, two different listings that'll be in my ISTE shop. One for a journal and one for a three envelope stack of Marie Antoinette embellished envelopes. So I think we'll go through the journal first and then save the envelope stack for last and this is soft cover and it's covered with antique lace with some rose in, uh, embroidered on the netting Scott Marie and a beautiful pearl bow lots of applique I don't know if you can see in the light there, maybe you can see the sparkles, the uh, sequins. And then there's lots of little bows that peek out as holding things inside the journal. And inside, I used um, vintage wallpaper digitals that are of the era. So most of this is uh, from the same kind of in the same general area era of Marie Antoinette so it's very ornate and um, very roco is that what they call it anyways so on the first page we have a a tag and I tried to put most of the things in this journal with uh, paper clips so they can be moved around and you could be using them as pockets and all kinds of things but I thought the person who got the journal could have a little bit more uh, freedom to do what they wanted to do with different things like that. Now this is gold, a gold pocket, so I, I think you can see how that shines in the light. And then I just have a couple pieces of uh, some satin, gold satin, and an embossed tag. And then, like I said, this paper is all paper that would have been around that era. And that's a dress that would have been worn at the court during that era. And a lot of the pages are all uh, gold metallic on the edge. I don't know if you can see it in the light or not. They're gold metallic on the edge. So, real pretty. And here's an embossed pocket with lots of gold sequins and a pretty Marie Antoinette tag. I just love this one. I can't imagine a whole room in it, but it sure is pretty. They had some great wallpaper back then. That's a little shoe that would have actually been, somebody at court could have been wearing that fancy little shoe back then. So, another um, embossed pocket with some gold foil and some of that um, gold and sequin trim. Another little embossed card. And this is a picture of the room, of a room during that era that would have been with the chandelier and the couch and all the fancy painting in the background. So that would have been kind of from that era. Same thing here. That's a, that's a bed from that era. So I tried to keep it, you know, I tried to find royal things, really fancy things. This is a whole floating pocket. So it's made out of a doily. It's gold edged. Um, she's in the pocket there, um, embellished, and then it just, I just have it clipped in so you could move that pocket anywhere in here you wanted to attach it. I wanted to attach it, but then I thought, I'll let the owner attach it. So, some real pretty papers, a double doily. I mean, you gotta go double with the royals, right? Just some real pretty papers, some shoes from the era. Oops. Gotta pull these apart. This is this would be a dining room setup kind of royally. This is some gold brocade material. Made a little tab out of it. Make sure I'm in frame here. Oh my lovely! These are actually French fans that the ladies would have wore during the era. And these are tuck spots. I didn't put anything in them. I gold edged them, and some beads on the center dangles some pretty beads I 
I always have trouble with these pages. I guess my fingers are getting old. Very pretty. Lots of spaces to journal and add your own touches to. And then a carriage. And I uh, silver it, silvered the carriage just a little bit. Put some silver metallic on it. Sparkle it up a little bit with a little bow. A dress from the era. A chandelier we think that might be on Marie's table. Another gold foiled pocket with a little tag. And this would have been one of their drawing rooms. Look at that chandelier, my goodness. That's amazing. Another Marie. Another embossed pocket. And then another gold side pocket with, I think I put two or three Marie's in here, a embossed tag, and another little piece of journaling ephemera. So there is the Marie journal, and then the envelope, Marie Antoinette envelope stack. There's three handmade envelopes. They're about seven by five and a half. Each of these have tuck spots on the fronts and backs in the ephemera that you see will tuck too, so you could tuck things in there. I didn't actually bring anything with me to show you each tuck, but it's there. And uh, they're embellished and then embellished again. And they're very feminine, they're very pretty. I like to set them out on my desk. I prop them up on my desk like this. And I like to look at them. And you can tuck little things behind there. And there's a lot of uh, room to tuck, to put hold things in. You can also hold ephemera, or you know, you cut a whole bunch of fussy cutting. Um, sometimes I'll use these, I'll put the small, medium, and large in each one, small, medium, and large, fussy cutting, and I just open it up and flip through them. Um, when you get these, I will have added some digital ephemera inside here to fill it up. I just didn't put any in there right now. i put some pearls along the edge and all kinds of pretty trims. So we got that one, and then this one. That's got some gold in it. It's real pretty with the pink tassels from the other side on that side. And there's Miss Marie. Some gold spangle, and then there's a tuck there and a tuck there. And the inside of that is some fleur de lis. And all of the edge, all of the envelopes are edged in gold. Marie couldn't have anything less than that. She'd have to have that. And then a dress of the era, both tuck. Pearls and jewels and all kinds of stuff. And then the inside, some roses. So, there we go. Very pretty envelope set and a journal. And I hope you guys are having fun crafting and um, hope it's giving you a lot of joy. It does give me a lot of joy. Um, I'm so glad that you come and share this with me, and thank you so much for stopping by.